Hi everyone, my name is Arush Sharma and today I'm presenting to you on how can supervised machine learning for image recognition be used to strengthen perimeter security. Um, my mentor's name is Michelle and I'm currently presenting from Pleasanton, California. Introduction. So recently California's been experiencing a surge in home break-ins. Um, so this is highlighting the importance and need for an effective perimeter security technology to enhance home safety. This project aims to explore machine learning models for object detection in perimeter security. Our method involves capturing front and backyard images to train neural networks for detecting suspicious activities. Um, our objective is to illustrate the pivotal role of AI in fortifying home security measures. Um, so it, in California, violent crime rates have increased by 6.1%. This project aims to eliminate crime possibilities by detecting unknown visitors at the door and informing the homeowners. So how did we create these models? Um, so first, we used a software called Teachable Machine to train the model. Uh, Teachable, so once we access Teachable Machine, there are several projects you could do to train the model, and we chose an image project. Then we had to collect and label data. From there, you have to upload and label the images and train the model. Um, after that, we tested and evaluated the model and we exported the model and we continue iterating, which would mean you go back to collecting and labeling more data and uploading images and so on. So we used two models in this project. Um, for this project, we used a human versus not human model, which is to detect first if there's a human in the frame or not. This would prevent false alarms because it doesn't notify you if there's just like a cat walking in the frame or like a bird flying by. Then after that, if it detects there's a human, it would check if it's someone known or unknown. For example, if this was set up at my house, like if I'm going back inside, it would detect if it's my face or if it's an unknown human's face. Summary and conclusion. So we were able to um, summarize that integration of facial recognition into door cameras enhances home security and access control. Um, it also distinguishes between humans and non-humans, reducing false alarms, and identifying known versus unknown individuals adds security and convenience. Uh, we also have to address the privacy implications because uh, if the user was to use this, they'd have to upload their own images and we have to make sure that's safely stored so no one's misusing those images. Um, we'd also need to improve the accuracy and reliability because as seen in the results slide, the known versus unknown human uh, model is only 75% sure and that is not good enough for safety. Um, yeah, and we should also consider ethical, legal, and societal implications before deploying this product. Um, next steps uh, would be to add more images to the model to help improve the accuracy, um, and also make an interface to use the to view the data off of. Currently, the model was uh, only available to be seen on the, the model itself, the data, so you wouldn't be notified if there was an unknown person at the door. However, in the future, I could create an app which would notify the user when there was an unknown person at your door. Um, and we should look into accuracy based on lighting, such as day or night, uh, cloudy or sunny, or rainy or sunny, because this model was tested during daylight and it wasn't really tested when it was cloudy or rainy outside. So we would have to look into that. I would like to thank my mentors, um, Michelle and Morteza. Michelle for guiding me through this project and Morteza for uh, helping me prepare these slides. Um, any questions? Thank you for your time. Thanks so much. Uh, how accurate do you think facial recognition technology is? And do you have any thoughts on how it could be improved? Um, for this particular model? I feel like you could answer it for this particular model. The question doesn't specify. Maybe it's sort of, is it just asking based on what you learned, if you have any like hot take mm -hmm. on facial recognition technology based on your dive into this? Um, so I feel like facial recognition technology, uh, it it is pretty accurate. It just depends on the number of images 
inputted to the model and how much you train the model. So like if I have more images, normally that leads to better accuracy, but then it also depends on like, if I have too many images in one class, then that could affect the accuracy too, because it would be a bit biased towards that class. Great. One of the other things that you mentioned was that your model was misclassifying. When it was misclassifying, was it doing so as unknown versus known people, or was it misclassifying people versus other objects? Um, what do you mean by misclassifying? You were saying that there was a 25% misclassification. Oh, no, that was um, so the model outputs like the how sure it is, and it was 75% sure that it's like a person it knows. Okay. Got it. Okay. So um, is... Yeah, it, it just didn't, that one didn't have as many images because, uh, yeah, we didn't input that much images into the model when I was testing it. But if we add more images, I would assume since that there were a lot more images in the human versus unknown human, it should improve the accuracy. Wonderful. Thank you so much.